So I'm still a, like obviously I can, I will say yes. I've been brought up in a Christian way. I've been taught the Bible. Me myself, I'm just starting really venturing into the Bible. I don't really know the Bible in, into like in, into depth. Um, I was baptized eight, when I was 18. And yeah, it's just like on and off. I'm not like 100%, so I've got my flaws and all that. But yeah, I, I respect all religions. I'm not saying because you're Muslim, I value you less. Because that's what the Bible teaches us. We should love our, our neighbors as ourselves and appreciate, you know, do to others what you want others to do to you. Do you, you know what you just quoted now? Right? That's in Mark. Um, 1228 right you've just quoted the last part there's two more parts there where Jesus Christ was asked what is the greatest commandment yeah. the greatest of all commandments he was like hey O Israel your Lord our God is one yeah. worship him with all your heart and all your might and love your brother like you love yourself so before loving one another we have to worship um, the one true God yeah with all our heart and all our might. So I would say, um, there's a lot, because initially so I asked you. Then I would, I would, sometimes <coughs> I do, like obviously there's one God, then I ask myself, why did Jesus can be, was sent to the world to, you know, be crucified? As a messenger, our sins. because in the Bible it says, you can only come through to God for Jesus. But, look, you know, addressing the blood sacrifice, addressing the crucifixion. Before we started recording, we mentioned how M Moses didn't teach this. Jesus was at the beginning, like obviously before, you know, but, before Jesus was sent, God, God had his message, like had his prophets or whatever, you know, trying they, to set, give the, the, message, the messages to the people, but they wouldn't, the majority wouldn't listen. That's why he flooded the world. You no, know, but they, they prophesied as well. And they came with the same consistent message. Because you, you're making it out like um, Jesus dying on the cross is so important. But what's Jesus, important? Like it is important. What's more important? Belief in one God, worshipping yes. God alone, yeah. or Jesus dying on the cross? It's not, for me it's not. No, no, because you, you keep referencing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying we'll leave that to one side. Yeah. I would say the fundamental belief that separates a Muslim and a Christian is Trinity. Because yeah? you believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus. Now, what I don't believe is the, He's the son of God. His God. He's equally God. He's equal with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is equal with the Father. They're not three separate gods, but they're one God. Does that make sense? That's what Trinity teaches. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're not three gods, but they're one God. And I'm saying, Jesus Christ never taught this. Um, the Bible doesn't teach this. Well, as I said, that part, I don't know. Because yeah. I need to venture in more So venture into it, yeah. yeah. And I would say, <coughs> look into what the Quran says as well. Yeah. And I would say, look, if you find it overwhelming, then that's fine. Read the Bible first. Read it side to side. But I'm saying, what you fundamentally believe, Jesus Christ didn't teach it. So him dying on the cross, him being a blood sacrifice, yeah, him being part of the Trinity, the concept of Trinity, Jesus Christ never taught him. So, and just before the camera switched on, you're saying these are the points that separate what I, a Muslim, and yourself as a Christian. Because I keep on. So, so let me just finish that. Pardon? You guys are more like into the message of Muhammad, right? Correct. Yes. But so what, what does that mean? Christ, right? No, what does that mean? Other, so even the Prophet Muhammad, yeah. peace be upon him, he affirmed that we have to believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. He affirmed um, that no Muslim is a Muslim. No one, we're not even going paradise until we believe in all the messages of God. That includes Moses, that includes Jesus, that includes Abraham, just to name a few. Does it make sense? That's an article of faith. We have six articles of faith affirming the message is one of them affirming the books they came with is one of them so as a muslim i don't believe in the bible but i believe in the book that was revealed to jesus christ i don't believe that was the bible 
And the funniest thing is, the Bible doesn't even claim that. The Bible is unknown authors, unknown authors giving their testimony of what they believe happened. I'm like, who are you? What's your last name? And if you read, uh, what's the first book? I think it's Genesis. Matthew, like the, 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 the disciples, who's the first, the, not the disciples, sorry, the person who wrote the chapter, like, you know, you've got Mark, Luke, Mark, Luke John, Matthew. Matthew and John, right? Yeah. When you read those books in order, just read the first book and the last book, there's a day and night difference. It's and what, what is the day and night difference in regards to the divinity of Jesus Christ? The first book is very much like an Islamic narrative. He's a man sent by God. Yeah? And then um, John's like putting in a different narrative, which isn't going hand in hand with uh, the fundamental teachings of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So when are you going to read the Bible, madam? And no, when you're gonna come back to talk to me I've about got, this? I've put the Bible on my phone, so I can read it anytime. anytime. Yeah. Um, can I give you a few more verses? Sure, of course. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, sorry. So we went through John 17, 3. Yeah. Where Jesus Christ Himself is affirming, um, and this is eternal life, that they may know the God. The only true God. The only true God. So he separated himself from God. And Jesus Christ who thou hast sent. So Jesus Christ was sent by God. That's what Islam is teaching. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I've already referenced Mark 12, 29, 28, 29. Where he, O Israel. Um, the first of all commandments is here, O Israel. The Lord, our God. So Jesus Christ is saying, our God um, is one. He's not making himself part of that. Does that make sense? That's exactly what Moses taught as well. Out of the first commandments, out of the Ten Commandments. Yeah? And last but not least, <coughs> a shepherd came to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, calling him good. Jesus Christ replied, um, why thou thou called me good? Just by saying, why do you call me good? Yeah, none is good, only God. Yeah, go home, yeah. read the Bible, reconcile these verses because this is going hand in hand with what Muslims believe. There's only one God. God is Almighty. God is not in need of anything. God created everything. God is uncreated. Jesus Christ was created. God is uncreated. Um, God knows everything. There's many places in the Bible where Jesus Christ was asked, um, when is judgment day? He said, I don't know. The angels don't know. The sun doesn't know. So he, does, he, didn't say, he didn't say, I don't know. He said, the sun doesn't know. And the angels don't know. Only God knows. So how can, if Jesus Christ is part of the Trinity, how can... He not know something, but the Father knows. Jesus Christ many times is praying with his forehead to the ground. Not many times, there's at least one example of it. Jesus Christ prayed with his forehead to the ground. Who is Jesus Christ praying to? So how can Jesus Christ be God if he's praying to God? He's the son of God. Yeah. That's what I say, it's in the Bible. He's the son now, of God. <coughs> the disciples are referred to as children of God. We are all children of God. We are all so children. what's your, wh why, do you, why do you make that point? They're messengers. They're, 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 they're so get, they get the dreams of... Revelation. The revelations and, to uh, go Prophecies like and so on. For example, he went out to let church. But he's not a messenger home. though. No, but he got prophesied. He got told. So he claims. That's what I say. In the Bible. Does it make sense? No, no, the Bible doesn't say that. He gives his own testimony. He was a very bad man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he I was, mean, there's he, he a went, lot. There's a lot to know. <coughs> Learn and I'm going to be harsh about Paul, yeah? I'm not going to be harsh with Jesus, yeah? Because oh, Paul, Paul, God doesn't affirm him, like, having revelation. Okay. 
So I can't, I can't take anything he says. He was against Christianity. Then he was on the, um, he had, on his way to on a trip, and then he comes back and he claims that he's got revelation and um, he's become a saint and God spoke to him. And then he changed, but he changed the word of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, "Don't have pork." Jesus Christ said, "Be circumcised." Paul is saying, "You're clean. Whatever you eat is clean." Like, who are you, man? Do you know I mean, I apologize, but I don't want to like, overwhelm you. Yeah. But I'm saying that look, come back to what Jesus Christ taught. Um, you believe in the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe it's been perfectly preserved. I believe man-made elements have gone into it. It's been changed. Yeah. Um, but you don't believe that. That's up to you. I'm not going to like prove it to you because I find that like, insulting. I don't want to insult your religious scripture. Does that make sense? Um, so you believe it to be unchanged. So find the teachings from it where it says the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co equal they're the same. Or reject the Trinity. You said Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but then you said we're all children of God. So I don't, it becomes like a non-point. Your mum's Googling. Your mum? Daughter? Yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah, your mum's Googling something. Are you Googling something? You're texting your mate. I don't know. Go on. Read that to me, please. Jesus explicitly and implicitly describes himself as the Son of God, and he is also described as the Son of God by various individuals who appear in the New Testament. Thus, the Bible says Jesus is the Son of God. In John 1 34, John the Baptist bears witness that Jesus is the Son of God, and in John 11 27, Martha calls him the Messiah and the Son of God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What does Son of God mean? I can show you other verses where there's other people referred to as children of God. You even affirmed that. Yeah? Now, yeah, what... Jesus was the only person to be born of a mortal mother, Mary, and the immortal father, God the Father. That is why Jesus is called the only begotten Son of God. From his father, he inherited divine powers. So, it's the Holy Spirit God. For the majority of Christian de denominations, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit, and is Almighty God. As such as He is person and also fully good, co-equal and co-eternal with God, the Father, so and Son of the God. So there's a lot. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. They have not given a single reference. <laughs> That's just a claim. As a Muslim, I believe in God the Father, as in, I wouldn't use that word because we don't like, we say Lord, yeah? yeah? We believe in Jesus Christ, messenger of God. Yeah. We believe in what you guys will claim the Holy Spirit as the angel Gabriel, mm -hmm. yeah? That done the will of God, yeah? <coughs> so you read that two points, I just want to address it, yeah, very quickly. Jesus Christ being the Son of God, what did that language mean? When you look at the Bible, yeah, um, and you see how um, someone who does the message of God will be referred to as the Son of God. So the disciples are referred to as children of God. Um, Adam and I think David is referred to as a son of God. Yeah? Now, when you use words like begotten, that becomes more problematic. And it's even taken out of other um, Bibles anyways. Yeah? So my point wasn't for you to prove that Jesus Christ is the Son of God or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I can carry go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just wanted to like, as again, I've been a Christian my whole life, but I was dragged by my parents, you know, yeah. to go to church. So obviously, as a child, I wasn't really... You wasn't listening intentively. Now as an adult, and I'm saying to you, like, did you feel like anything I said was rude or insulting? No, no, no. It's yeah? A, Thank I you. Mean, to me, it's like I like learning new things from other people's perspectives. And obviously understand other people's perspective of their religion, for example. I've never really ventured into, is, you're Muslim, right? That's right, yes. Yeah, into the Quran. So I don't know what the teaching, what the Quran is teaching, you understand. But again, everybody, a lot of people perce perce um, receive the Quran in a different, different way. Because obviously, sorry to say, with all, you know, I don't want to say it, but... No, no, say it. I know what you're going to say. And the thing is, I welcome because you Because they say, they say, oh, Islam is very extremist and 
you know, obviously with like Islam countries, they have the women all covered up. And can I so can I just pause so you very quickly, so, yeah? Because yeah. you made two points, I want to address it. Yeah. So now, <coughs> um, extremists, right? Now. I, I mean, if, I don't believe in anything. No, 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 that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. No, no, no. I'm going to thank you. I'll, I'll respect your honesty. And the fact of the matter is, the media teaches one thing, and then it plants these seeds that are all Muslims like this. No, no. Of course not. That's number one. Because you live with Muslims and they don't behave like that. Yeah. Number one. Number two, imagine I said I'm an extremist vegan. But I'm so passionate. I'm such an extremist vegan. I have to eat 10 hamburgers a day. At a certain point, you stop being a vegan. Yeah. So if I go against the fundamental teachings of Islam, and I'll use the example of ISIS, yeah? There's no way it says to be, behead Muslims. Does it make sense? There's no place where it shows you to um, take non-combatants and torture them or de decapitate them or whatever rubbish they do. Does it make sense? I distance myself from ISIS, yeah? So that's not a fair representation of Islam. That's number one. Then you said women in Muslim countries having to cover. For example, I'm not... No, no, let me, let me address that. To me, I, we hear in the media that obviously in those very religious countries that women are like... On the who are the most religious women in Christianity? To me, it's Muslim. No, no. Who are the most religious Christians women in your... Who do you believe are the most religious Christian women? Nuns? Are nuns religious? They are, can be religious, but we're all humans. <laughs> yeah. How do they dress? Yeah, they dress covered like head to toe. Yeah, Mary, Mary, Mother Mary, Mary. Yeah. how does she dress? So the matter is, we're following the teachings of our scripture. Yeah. You know, in the Bible, yeah. it says it's better for a woman to shave her head than to display her hair. Would you like the reference for that? That's what the Bible teaches. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Um, you can, we can Google it now. <clears throat> so that's what the Bible teaches, because like it is, it's the Abrahamic faith. Yeah, in the Old Testament. So I hope I've addressed those two points. What else have you got, madam? <laughs> huh? um, <coughs> where is it? Um, give me a moment. Let me Google it quickly. All right, let me go into my Bible app. Women to shave their heads. Let me quickly Google it. The Bible teaches Christian women need to shave their heads. Gosh. Uh, here we go. Um, consensus. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. Um, eleven six. Are you underneath? It's taking me so long to find it. Do this. If you search this on your app, my app's playing up a little bit. Right, 
Prophet had said, whoever leads the attack will not even right? <laughs> Eleven. No, eleven six. So if the woman does not cover her head, she might as well have her hair cut off. But if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off, So if a woman does not cover her head, she might as well have her hair cut off. But if it's a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off, her head shaved, then she should cover her head. So what's the cha what, what's the name of the chapter? For the viewers at home. <laughs> yeah, it says in the Bible. That's in the Old Testament though, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, I mean... Jesus Christ said he hasn't come um, to change the law of Moses, but to fulfill it. Yeah. He hasn't come to change a single word, a tittle or a dot. Yeah. How do you feel about what I'm saying? So my point is, look, I don't have, if you've got other kinds of objections in regards to Islam, mention it, because I'll rather address it now, because you will see that, look, there's nothing that Islam comes with that you, you will disagree with. Does it make sense? Yeah. And I mean, again, I need to venture into it because at the moment, <laughs> I'm not really fully, fully. I mean, I, I identify myself as a Christian. I've been brought up as a Christian. I've been taught in the church about the Bible. Uh, I've been baptized into Christianity. So my journey is basically venturing into the Bible, understand Jesus, or say, understand God better, what Jesus is all about. You know, what so you separate Jesus and God? No, if I pray by the end of the day, oh, and if, but by the blood of Jesus, when I finish praying, I say by the blood of Jesus, amen. But I start with my prayer. With, the God, with God, I see Jesus as the Son of God, because in the, in, again in the Bible it says you can co only come through the through to God through Jesus. So what does it mean for Jesus Christ to be the Son of God? I've explained to you that Jesus he's Christ basically He's going to be the one. Judgment Day, for example, in the in, in the Bible it says there will be books, books of life and books of whatever, and Jesus will be there. To judge you, and if you, if you as a Jesus Christ is gonna judge, not God. Jesus is God in a way because he's the Son of God. Yeah. Because that's why the Bible says you can only get to the Father through Jesus, the Son of God. <coughs> so now you're going all over the place. So you're saying Jesus Christ is God. Jesus is God. Okay. He's the Son of God. Then why is the Bible contradicting itself? Because Jesus Christ is saying he was sent by the only true God. He was sent by the Father, his God, to come to the world to speak to the people that there is God. That's why he did a That's why he was called the Messiah. He was he was healing. He was healing sick people. You know that? Then how can Jesus Christ not know when judgment day is? Judgment Day. Nobody knows, and I bet I believe Jesus knows. Jesus and God knows when Judgment Day is. You can't say that because he he himself said I don't. He himself said the Son doesn't know, the angels doesn't know, only the Father. Well, I've been taught what I've been taught. I, I, I mean, yes. Because yeah, so even I'm, I'm, even him saying, look, God is good. Yeah. Jesus Christ is saying. Why doth thou call me good? So he doesn't even want to be called good. Don't call me. He's asking, why are you calling me good? Then, Only God is good. Because he should have made, said, no. I'm good. God is good. We're all good. It's all good. It's, 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 it's you know, it's, it's a very sensitive topic we're speaking because you believe 
something else, I believe, because we've been told different things. No, no, but you can't back up what you believe. I respect what you, that yeah. you're entitled to believe what you believe. Yeah. But with all due respect, Again, I'm still I believe it's categorically this. wrong. But yeah. then you can't back it up with scripture. You can't even back it up with the statement of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. So why do you believe? You choose to believe because um, <coughs> you want to go with your, your loyal to your family. I'm saying be loyal to Jesus, be loyal to God. Yeah. So what does God say? What does the what do you believe the scripture teaches? That's what again I said. Is again, your friend waiting for you? Yeah. Do you need to go, yeah? Yeah. You go. Thank you so much for your time. No Can problem. I interest you in a free Quran? No problem. Okay. <laughs> If you have any questions, come back. We're here every Saturdays. Okay. And once again, look, <coughs> I don't want to challenge you. I don't want to offend you. I'm just challenging. Why do you believe what you believe? That's why I need to. I need to look into it. Myself. Read the Bible. Bible yeah. When you get a chance, read the Quran. Read it both at the same time. Yeah. Come back and then put me in my place. Say, look, this is where the Trinity is taught in the Bible. This is where Jesus Christ taught the Trinity. This is where Jesus Christ claims to be God. Said, he never carried quickly. There's I'm, not a single verse. Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting you. Yeah, I'm There's new. not a single verse in the entire Bible where Jesus Christ says, I am God or worship me. So I'll let you finish. I mean, again, I'm new. Obviously, I've been Christian my whole life, but just my, personally, like, when I just started recently venturing into, deep into the Bible. So I'm still new to this. That's so, fine, that's fine. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, you haven't said nothing wrong. Yes. You're not wrong. Yeah. What's wrong is. Um, through time you realize that look where why do I believe what I believe yeah, Does that make sense yeah. I don't this I don't agree with what you believe yeah. but you're entitled to that belief yeah. but then you need to back it up with something okay. Does that make sense yeah, yeah. yeah? No thank problem. you so much madam no yeah? problem. appreciate thank your you. time take care okay, bye.